I'm a UX designer. Okay, but? But I'm a UI artist as well. So I spend my time between both game art and UI art and UX design. This is Pet Rescue Puzzle, you may have seen before, possibly, yay! This is our main character, Fern, and it's a game about rescuing pets. Uh, maybe I can show you some some levels. Who is the person who implemented the nice uh, blurry shader? Um, the blurry shader was actually Matthias, our technical artist. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's really nice. It just gives that, that extra bit of polish, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, which I really love. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll go through the game a little bit and then mm -hmm. I can kind of talk a bit about how we did this specific feature. So as we can see, the game is super cute and uh, super easy gameplay to get in that you are saving these cute little pets. <laughs> So this feature, part of it is like we, by winning the level, we got this extra little, uh, this ice cream mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And then when we come back into the map, ba bing, mm -hmm. uh, we've achieved it. So then it will come up here and tell you that you need to find more of them. Mm -hmm. So like, this is one of those things where we, we try and theme everything that we bring into the game as much as possible to give this adventurous slash I don't know, adventure game, but it's still a puzzle, it's still a clicker. Um, and so the way we <laughs> the themed pirate this... Seagull, I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I love him. Well, the thing is, we, we already had him for, he's actually in our in our shop. He... Um, yeah, but he's smaller. Yeah. I've just, um, yeah, so we see him up here. Oh, you can right. tap on him in the store. And it was like, when, when we needed another character or we thought it might be a nice thing to do, we were like, okay, well, it would be great to bring back the seagull. We have this piggy bank. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Money Mr. Moneybags. Like, do you have brainstorming evenings for so the nicknames? The, the, no, this was like, the, and this is one of the fun or things this about was my job. <laughs> this, no, but this was me, like, we, were, we had the idea of the feature that we wanted to do, and I was sitting there sketching, and I was like, maybe it's a pig, but it's a capitalist pig. Whoa, so edgy, I know. And he's got like a top hat, mm -hmm. and, a, and uh, I made that into a GIF, and I put that in our Slack channel, mm -hmm. and everyone loved the GIF, and they loved the name Mr. Moneybags, so. It went in. Yeah, apparently you can can sell in things. <laughs> but that's the thing. And I mean, money bags. That's I, again. It's like one of the great things about Malma is that we're so small that we kind of make a lot of decisions for ourselves. One of the things here is like we, when we click on them, mm -hmm. we have we can interact with them, so you can feed yeah. them and stuff. But yeah. also, one of the features we introduced very recently is a wardrobe. So you can actually dress Swear. up, you can dress. So of course we have a king trucker hat and now <laughs> it's very I adorable. Swag. Yeah, maybe we can we can make a default outfit if you ask very nicely. <laughs> um, we will. Yeah. I'm and always um, in the editor, so um, I can show you all the ways that I use it if you like. Yeah, like <laughs> many teams actually don't, I mean, yeah. don't allow artists even to directly merge into yeah. into into the main trunk, yeah. whatever they call it. Absolutely it not it? that here, yeah. No, Why? we we really encourage everyone to be able to, and, and that's what I would say for artists and UI designers as well, like people should be able to work in the editor because then people have more freedom to actually create like stuff to the highest caliber. But what's the secret? How you don't, I mean, how comes you don't break the bills? You don't uh, break we the break game. the bill quite often, oh, okay, I would say. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, mean, I, I have a special Slack emoji called YOLO merge, which just means that I merged everything together, kind of YOLO, like okay. who knows what will happen. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and that's fine. I think, I think um, I've been annoying enough to all of our programmers here okay. that they're used to it. Uh, but, but, but what's the programmer's perspective to it? Like, do, do you feel like you suffer? Do you feel like, hey, because I mean, they do break the bills and they do admit it like, hey, yeah. There is like, look, a history of YOLO commits. Yeah, this yeah. is us <laughs> or me. No, so. I think it's. Uh, I think the idea becomes a little bit of like everyone is able to contribute to the game. The thing that we want to do is to empower everyone and uh, empower artists most of the time, so they can just feel like they can uh, build something and just put it in the game and then uh, see it together. So they don't need to rely so much on the programmer to start just putting something into the game, even put it into master, and then let, it, let everyone try it. Right, so it's easier to fix broken builds than <laughs> to just, uh, to be available for all the artsy designer, designy people in the team for everything, like for every moment. It's a little bit like, uh, it's a combination maybe about trust, and they just have to make sure that you have like the right uh, 
uh, tool sets to be able to detect if something wrong happened yeah, in the like game. Yeah, like I broke the build and went home. Do you have this award in the yeah. team? <laughs> no, <laughs> we don't have that one. I think um, to me, like it's a big part of like mm -hmm. a game artist skill set that they mm -hmm. should be working. Like in breaking the, the bills, or yeah, for <laughs> not necessarily breaking the bills, but but having the confidence to be able to go into into the editor and okay. into the engine to change things. Do you feel like uh, default limits you as an artist, as mm -hmm. a UI person mm -hmm. in any ways? Or do you feel like, yeah, whatever, that's the tool I just mastered my way through? <laughs> um, I think there's, there. in some ways it's really great because like all of us can learn it. Like there is, once you figure out your way, especially most of my time is spent in GUI scenes. And uh, once you learn them, it's very simple. Like you, you can basically do everything you need to and you can make it scale to different screen sizes and stuff like that. Um, I think it would be super great if we had even more functionality in that mm -hmm. respect. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Like, uh, you know, we've had spine animation in GUI for the last year and a bit now, and that's really helped a lot. But kind of expanding on those abilities for kind of the animation side of things, I mm -hmm. think would be really mm -hmm. helpful. Yeah. I think it's one of those things where it's like, um, I, I know we've spoken recently about like um, having more things for text effects and like the mm -hmm. gradients yeah. and stuff on text. And now that's in the pipeline, so that's super cool. So it's one yeah, of those things where um, like, it's getting uh, better and better to work with it. And I think people, people that were, um, maybe maybe use the engine like a year or two ago would are really surprised to see what we're able to do now because we can do so much on our own. Sorry, am I meant to speak to the camera or to you or to anywhere? You? Okay, anywhere. Just to do the monitor. It's or to the monitor. Default, <laughs> there is a default editor. I okay. mean, I'm speaking okay. of default editor okay. whenever I'm working on default. So. <laughs> okay. <Ben. sighs> I mean, I'm I'm, I'm 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 just so impressed. <laughs> I, I, I was like listening to. The, well, it's it, it it just sounds like a perfect world.